Coverage coming your way is presented by EA Sports and the PGA Tour. What really sets Quail Hollow apart here at the Wells Fargo Championship, the brutal finishing stretch. They call it the Green Mile, and we are excited to bring you all of the tournament action. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. He's loading up on it. Look at the coil there. And look at this. Look at all the power in that coil. Ooh, that is long. Wow, that is a monster drive down there. About 315 yards. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. Frank, it's kind of cool if your golf course has a menacing name for the finishing stretch. There's the Bear Trap at PGA National, the Gauntlet at TPC Sawgrass, and here at Quail Hollow, the Green Mile. Does it earn the nickname? Rich, I don't know about the name, but I think if you want to look at three holes in a row that are really going to get your attention, perhaps wreck your card, then 16, 17, and 18 at Quail Hollow are the ones. Uh, you know, 16, the par four over 500 yards, 17 is just fraught with disaster. And then 18 requires you hit your best tee shot. Um, I think even if those holes were in three different parts of the golf course, that gets your attention. Oh, that was nasty. That's an outrage right there. I mean, if there's a high commission of, of golfdom, we need to consult them right now because it's just simply not fair, Frank. It's not. I think the people above are frowning and the people below. Been a little too much of that, Frank, just sort of ho-hum pars. Frank, I think the mark of a good golf course design changing directions. We go from a right to left hole, now at the 12th to a left to right hole. Yeah, there's no two holes at Quail Hollow that look the same. Um, and this one's slightly downhill, uh, fairway tilts a little bit to the right, and, and it's a bit of a sleeper. And plus you can add it on top of that 450 yards plus. Um, this is a fairway that has to be hit. That is just a beautiful shot. Frank, we always say about Quail Hollow, you have to play with a clear head. You have to be thinking your way around this golf course. So what's the right thought process on this second shot? Keep the ball in the right section. Um, you know, that front portion there, you can't afford to go long when the flag's there. Conversely, when the flag's in the back, you can't afford to be putting up and over that ridge. So you've got to be um, flying that ball all the way back there. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. And this will be a five-foot putt here. A birdie will send him to one under on the leaderboard. Our featured golfer has made it to the 13th hole. Let's pick up the action right there. Frank, how would you assess this first round performance from our featured golfer? I'd say commercial, solid, very professional. Um, if this is the worst round they score all week, it's not such a bad round. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. On the green, and a chance for birdie. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance.
Always two components to the long lag putt, the speed, number one, and then the read, and missed out on that second part. Lining this one up for par. Very well done, almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. So with that, the score is now at even par. Wow, Frank, this is a really good little par four, isn't it, the 14th? It is, and this is where one of those strong three woods comes in. Um, the last 50 or 60 yards is the ball kicks down and towards the left, and it sounds like an aggressive play, but like a hard three wood trying to run it down there is actually not a bad play. Is it drivable? It is drivable, but it's whether it's worth the risk. And he pays a price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. You need a bit of force to extract one out of there. Frank, how good was that just to get it on the green? Well, from that shot there, you would have thought for sure that there was no chance he had of finding the green. That was some shot, really. This is that awkward length. How did that not go in? Good try, just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. Still even par for the day. Now teed up at the 15th hole. It is the final par five here at Quail Hollow, 577 yards. And Frank, I remember this hole well. McElroy stiffed the five iron on his way to making Eagle his first PGA Tour win. That came back in 2010. And um, the opportunity exists again here. Under 600 yards, plays downhill off the tee. Those two bunkers on the right are perfectly situated. That second one about 310 yards to it. So something straight at that one with a little draw will set up that mid iron or long iron that has to be hit very high and uphill. Okay, the second shot now at this par five. This could be a good one. And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. So the short miss, and those are painful. He has this putt for birdie. <laughs> Setting himself up for a good weekend, the Wiley Golf instructor makes his birdie. 
Don't forget, second round coverage coming your way tomorrow here on EA Sports for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now.